Hiver, Hiver, are you sure about this? Hiver, my man. Hiver, 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 Hiver. Let's talk about this. What's up, everyone? Name's Firestorm, and welcome back to Banner Saga. So, last time we just ended, we arrived. We managed to find the other group here yeah, with the prince, the child, so and then we headed to the Avaral city that no man has entered before, and we were just about to fight the dredge. So I think that's what we're gonna be doing in this episode. Let's just get right in. You're not doing this alone, my man. I won't stop you. Says I have a file like it's your last. You're not sure what to expect, but you draw your axe and soon find yourself standing behind Iwin on the bridge, wondering if you made the right decision. Okay, we got Rook, we got Ivory, Murig is there, we could take Fasolt. Let's take Fasolt. Yeah, 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 we're ready. You, 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 what the fuck? That's a lot of rage. That's a lot of rage. We got a purple dude here. I'm starting to think, can we actually survive this? There's, there's no man coon. You should be here, my man. You do, you do a lot of damage, man. Should be here, okay. Archer, nice. So, my man, how do you attack arc light? Oh, he has the skills, it's probably more, yeah. Arc lighting, arc lighting, string damage that arcs to a di di diagonal units, man restores an ally's armor. Arc lighting, okay, pretty cool. I like that, I like that, okay. So, sheesh. I'm am scared they're gonna take out I really quick. But I could do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Arc lighting. Uh, straight up to power. Boom! Let's go. What is he doing? He's calling for reinforcements, huh? Are those uh, his specialities? I, I feel like those are probably specialities. No, what have I done? Everyone, it's gonna get destroyed. No, 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 no. Fuck me. Okay. What is this? <laughs> what is this armor, my man? This shouldn't be allowed. What is this armor? Yo, <laughs> I don't want our guys to die here. Mm. Just trying to move in closer and closer and closer and closer. Okay. <coughs> Yo, what? What? Did you, what? What the hell did he just? Hopefully, I ever can take care of this guy. Oh, we restored his health. You, 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 what? <sighs> okay, I'm kind of confused on how our arc lighting works. Okay, however, takes care of you. Okay, no worries on that guy. Now I gotta take care of these fools. I really don't like the stone singers. Pretty, pretty annoying. Okay, dude's attacking. Okay, okay, he attacked Ivor. Okay, really need to play this really, really cool. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Moving closer. I'm scared of the stone singer, man. I'm really scared of him. Okay, he's gonna throw his bombs. Cool. Knock him up. Cool. 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 It's breaking his teammate's armor. What a dumbass. Freaking dumbass. Uh, arc lighting? No, 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 no. He can't do arc lighting. But he can do mend. 
Right there. Nah, let's not use willpower. Let's just restore his stuff. Bless him. The fuck? Okay. I wanted him to face the stone singer. God damn it. Okay, however. Gotta tank this. What is he doing now? It's probably gonna take him one whole round, yeah. To do whatever the fuck is gonna do. Boom. Okay, those things exploded. Ten. Running away. Yo, 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 yo. One. Okay. Fast hold moving in. Like there's so much ground to cover is insane. Our archer like never gets a turn to shoot, man. Okay, you just you just got the strength back. God damn it, man. Boom. Okay, he's gonna throw his bombs. Gotta move back, Rook. Gotta move back. And destroy this guy's armor. Keep on destroying this guy's armor. Damn, that's a lot of damage, man. That's a lot of damage. Is he going to attack now? Moving close fast hold. Damn. I kinda don't like this. Boom. Oh no, he's gonna take out our archer. Huh? One. Seven. Down. That was minus eight. Why did it go down only? How many did he have? So confused. Four. Armor break. Yo, this is gonna get close. I still don't like that fool out there. I don't think we can take him out just yet. Promoted. Provoked. He provoked a fool. Armor break. Yo 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 we might lose this. I don't like this. And we still have that fool yo 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 we lose we lose we lose we lose there's no way everyone is like crazy crazy like one one health what the hell is this and he's doing his thing again These stone singers are like OP man, they shouldn't be allowed to be here. Mark for prey can be used. Freak me man, freak me. He's going for her, he knows, he knows. Okay.
Boom. Why does he keep breaking armor? Is it down? Boom. Done. Now this stone singer, this guy's a problem. Like a problem. Let's use Reno. He's, he's definitely a problem. Like I'm way too scared of him. Many if we had our man, their man. Boom, nine, seven. Oh, fuck me, man. Can I actually survive this? Okay. Maybe if I can keep distance. Maybe if I if maybe maybe if I can manage to keep distance. Three. Pretty cool. Maybe. Maybe. One. One one one. Perhaps if he doesn't do his weird thingy. Just to be sure I'm going a bit more away. And let's go! Yes! How the hell did I survive that? I was so sure I was gonna die. <laughs> Everyone was at one HP. Okay. A lot of injuries. But we managed to defeat the stone singer. The stone singer falls hard, a howl like a hurricane sweeps across the bridge. The dredge pile like a black sea. From their depths steps a crimson behemoth, and a wave of sheer terror hits you like you've never felt before. Bellower. Get the mender out of here, Hive hisses, and run. Your legs move, almost with a will on of their own, though you can't pull yourself away from watching what happens next. The behemoth. Is that the red? Yeah, that's the red giant dredge, yo. Dude's twice the size of Hiver. Hiver, are you sure about this? Hiver, my man. Hiver, 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 Hiver. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Nah, nah, let's, for a moment, let's, let's just talk about this. Are you sure, my man? <laughs> I got him like really, I got him dead on last calls, what was I thinking, exactly, what were you thinking? Back out a bit. What the fuck? What the fuck? How far do you, how far does he walk? I'm dead. Like, is this part of the story? Do you expect me to win against this fool? There's no way you expect me to win against this fool. Defeat. Nah, nah, nah. Hold your horses. Cause there's no way. Have a reds in agony. His arm torn clean off by Bellower's onslaught. The sun raises weapons for the killing blow. Sunder, face me! Screams an uncertain Avewind, stepping back onto the bridge, raising his staff high. Even from here you can see his arms trembling. You feel practically frozen in place watching. Like, this should be part of the story because there's no way. Wait, is he dead? There's the serpent. What the hell's going on? Evwin recalls in terror from the massive serpent that has appeared in the distance, and even Bellower backs away. He leans in close to inspect the two armies, flicks its great tongue, and then he deferently lurches over the mountainside and 
out of sight. A dredge are a note of confusion. Some cower, others crouch in what looks like worship. Hakun shouts orders above the din. Val rush forward, bowling over surprised dredge, gaining ground. Bellower has receded back into the hall. Jorun watches from atop the stairs. Hurry, says Haven. Suddenly pulling at your arm, snapping you out of the moment you rush to Hiver. Laying on the ground amidst the fighting, still breathing despite a missing arm and dragged him back into the city. Yo. Now he's gonna have to fight without a shield. He just took my man's arm off. God damn it, man. There's no resting? Okay, let's talk to him. Let's talk to our man there. Can you save? Yes, probably. Give me silence. Nearly three hours pass silently as Ivan plies his thread. Flesh slowly forms and closes across Ivan's stone frame. That is as much as I can do. He should make it. Thank you. The man that looks exhausted, leaning heavily against the bed. When was the last time you slept? A couple days ago. I'm okay. Just need to sit. Before you can catch him, the mender crumbles to the floor. It's definitely there. Chapter 5. Weary the weight of the sun. From that chapter, you would think that serpent is the sun god. What is going on? Damn. Eximic. You sight sw swims as if underwater memories fly away like starters raven before you can capture them with great effort you remember who you are juno juno isn't that the girl from who left that back there who was with the Amanda at the tower you also realize that momental monumental serpent is speaking to you now your last certainty was that you died some time ago and that he in that it is about to happen again. Okay. So it's definitely bad. Juno. That's insane. Just did some crazy stuff out there. Frustrating. Okay. You are slow to understand the serpent. It speaks in a language that recalls very ancient memories of words learned long ago. If you are not going to die, I suppose we must speak instead. Okay. Who are you? My name is Juno. You are Juno? It means nothing to me. Maybe I have asked the wrong question. What are you? What is your purpose? Uh, tell me what you are. Do you ask the hammer what the blacksmith is making? This conversation becomes more meaningless by the word. What do your prophecy say? The gods gave you prophecy, fate, destiny. Is there no child coming to slay me with the magic sword? Are there no stars in the sky foretelling this disaster? You truly not know? The gods are dead. Dead? How is that? Are you a god? No. The gods are silent and before me stands one who knows not what they have done. Listen carefully now, for I will give you a prophecy. I am the end. Do you understand? This world and this tapestry, I will devour. It is my purpose, but I cannot. Instead, now comes a wall of night to consume your beautiful world. Wall of night? The dredge? Dredge? Stone men marching across a long bridge? No, it is darkness. The egg white that has turned black. I am meant to devour the tapestry itself, not idly witnessing the dust smother this rock. I am incomplete, a worm crawling through the, a dank field. Because of you, who are you to take my destiny? What are you? Return what is mine. Okay. He said darkness. It didn't mean the dredge. So there's something else coming. Damn. Yo! She's still taking one. I love that. Eivwin. Ju Juno? Still alive? You're alive. How? Where are you? Wait, where am I? Asleep, I presume, or unconscious. I mean, reach for, I think. A serpent was trying to kill me. Now I'm talking to you. Time is moving strangely. I've lost swords of memory. But I found you. For a short time, at least, the serpent said something about a long bridge. So I took a guess. 
It came after you? We saw it in Inertorf. Are you okay? It tried to turn me to ash after we spoke. I'd be surprised if that's the last we've seen of it. It could tear the land apart or crash cities if it wanted. What do we do? It gets worse. A prophecy of the gods that I've never heard. There are still prophecies out there. It was vague, sounded like that serpent was supposed to swallow the world. Instead, some kind of darkness of nothingness is, sweep, is seeping from the north. It devours whatever it touches. That would explain why the dredge is swarming on us like someone kicked an anthill. Avrin, are you in danger? You could say so. Below where is your... Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. That's what... Maybe that's why the dredge are so like... They're swarming like crazy on us because they're running away from something as well. Yo, the vault are holding him off, but not for much longer, I think. Of all the thunder, why the immortal one? Pillower, that is the worst of like. I would have you come to me, but we will have to do this the hard way. Listen close, I will turn to Strand and find passage down the Red River. You must leave Enetov and meet me in Sing. Home. Juno will never make it to sing home. The law is about to overtake us. The vow won't listen to a thing. I find a way, do whatever it takes. I will not be able to contact you again before swing home. Go. And I win. Yes, love you. Okay. Seems to be, mm, they have a really loving relationship between them both. Pretty cool. Now, gotta get out of here. That's what I was saying. Go south. We spend a lot of time next to him since he passed out. We're just keeping an eye on him. It's not like that, Dad. He saved Ivor. He might have saved the rest of us. Can you hear us? He just moved. How long ago? How long was I? You were out for a couple of days. How do you feel? Juno, she's alive. I need to meet her in Singho. Hold on, slow down. Who's Juno? She's my mentor on the Mendes Council. She contacted me. Contacted you? How? She's not like most men that's what happened here since I passed out. The Val are holding the dredge back. Just spell the bellow has disappeared. However, is still out of it. Jorun sent her coon Ludin and a couple hundred Val away from to our brain. I don't know how long we'll be able to hold out here. Rook, I need your help. Take me to Sing Home. Juno is going to meet us there. Sing Home? That's got to be a week away at least. And just abandon Anatorf? Maybe, or no, I could destroy that good forsaken bridge myself. That would delay the immediate threat, but Jorun will never agree to it. I need to understand a few things, Hywin. Why won't the Valking destroy the bridge? I can't completely understand it myself. The last time I mentioned it, he made his mind very clear. He let the city and the rest of the world fall before that damn bridge. How would you collapse that bridge by yourself? Not by myself, I could blast it apart, but this bridge wasn't made to fall. It will take time and concentration. That's why I need your help. And the vow will try to stop it. It could mean holding off both the dredge and the vow. What do we do about Belwa? Can't stop him, but I believe Juno can. That's why we need to go. We could just leave. And let the vow die to give us a head start? It's not my first choice. I've done everything I can on my own. What is going on around here? That serpent? Bellor? Look, I know things are... It's it's a long story. How well do you know history? We're from a very small town in the woods. I'll keep it short. You know how men and vow were made. The Loom Mother, the other gods. In the first great war, the armies of men and vow hated each other. They fought bitterly for land and dominance. Then one of the gods created the dredge. And there was such a threat that unless men and vowels set aside the difference, they threatened to wipe out both races. So they did. They ended the war, pushed the dredge into the north and formed an alliance that has held ever since. The second great war began generations later. The dredge rallied their forces, defeated the vowel who watched the borders and laid waste to unsuspecting settlements throughout the world. They were led by Sunder, a powerful dredge warlords and weavers like Belor. He was there in the second great war. Hmm. So we met Belor, this other guy we haven't met him yet. Humanity was on the brink of extinction when the inner circle of vendors went forth and finally sent Sunder and the dredge deep underground. For the most part, the dredge haven't tried to return since, well, until now. Those vendors were called the Valka. Juno wasn't there herself, but she's from the bloodline. So another great war has begun. 
If I didn't think the world was ending, it would be incredible. Ancient history is playing out before us. What about the serpent? That's another story. I, there's nothing in the Mendes library about that thing. It must have something to do with the dredge returning. That seems likely. Need time to think about this. Understand. Be quick, Rook. There has to be some way to. I can't believe the vow would be so stubborn. Speak to Jorun yourself. He's in the Great Hall. Maybe you'll have more luck. Or maybe he'll put your head on a spike. Probably. Rook, I hate to pull all this on your shoulders, but I've got a few friends here. Come to a decision quick. Either way, he can't stay here. We have to make it to a single home. Juno will know what to do. I'm in favor of destroying the bridge. <clears throat> Should I go to the Great Hall? And convince that fool? Wait, where is this place he was talking about? Single home. How the fuck is she? That's, uh, where's that place? Where they were thing? The tower. It's shielded, I think, isn't it? How the fuck does he gonna get from there to sing? Take this road, but she's gonna have to pass through Enatorf. Otherwise, she takes this road down here, out there, back there. Why not meet all the way back here? I don't know, man. We'll see. Well, she's a man, who knows, maybe she can fly. Crazy stuff in this game. <laughs> okay, let's go talk to the king first. I don't want to have to fight the dredge and the ball at the same time. You'll do as I say. <clears throat> I'm not here to argue. I'm telling you that we're dying by dozens every day now. You sent our best away with a coon. How long do you expect us to last? As for this command, Faso, don't let them get across that bridge. Fassel takes his leave as just as you approach. Not great timing, you think to yourself. Thank you for your for the audience. I forget your name. Rook. Rook, how is Yagmar? Will he survive? I think so. If I remember Yagmar well enough, he hasn't told you why he faced down Bellow, did he? Nope, he didn't. Keeps things to himself. Yes, that sounds right. Yagmar confronted a son in his youth. During the great wars, he won that fight. None other but the Mendes have done that. He proved us stronger. Maybe he thought to do it again. I've killed the Sunder? Ever killed the Sunder? How did he end up in Skogar? You'd uh, have to pry that from him yourself. I don't know. He disappeared when the last king tried to name him Kender. It occurs to you, it occurs to you that Jorun will not be on the throne now, now had that happened. Oh. Basically, Ivor was about to get in charge. Okay. But why are you here, Rook? Be brief. Human, if there is one more mention of that bridge, Rune's mood changes almost instantly. If you have nothing else to say, get out of my damn hole. Every man I've, I've ever met thinks he'd rival the gods himself, if only he were in charge. I'm over 400 years old, damn. And I know that I know little. You are a child, an infant, yet you know everything. Listen, human, this story is not about you. If you jump from that bridge today, the world will not change. Now, either help us or retake it, or leave my city. I don't care which. Gods are quick to usher you from the great hall. You don't resist. Man, this king, man, let's just destroy the bridge. Destroy the bridge, fight on the bridge, or leave. Huh. 